on. Let me show you some possible problem with the escape that might be leading to electrical issues. You'll see this uh, on the windshield, this rubber gasket that runs along the edge. If we follow it around, you will see both sides have problems. It is desiccating. This is such a common problem on Ford vehicles, particularly F-150s, that a company has come up that makes uh, just these pieces. Unfortunately, the escape, they do not make them. This rubber is bonded to these pieces, and these pieces, uh, which do nothing more than cover up the cowl area, are about, uh, I think the cheapest on eBay for knockoffs, $75 a piece. Through Ford, $110 a piece. So $220 bucks plus tax for that piece and that piece, just to keep water from flowing down the windshield and going in here. But I think I've come up with my own solution. Let's take these off and continue in just a second. So here we are in the garage. Piece is now taken off. You can see this is the underside of that part where it's fallen apart. And it is permanently bonded. <coughs> so it has to be cut off. Ongoing spider infestation in the car. We've moved to the big garage where there are lots of projects going on. There's they. You can also see we are taking apart Eve's uh, spider, trying to make it start so far unsuccessfully. Zay is covering a little table in dirt. Thank you for being so helpful. So what are we going to do here? How are we going to fix this? Well, I've, uh, I've purchased a garage door seal, which uh, looks like this, nine feet long. And considering these parts were $200 to get new ones, yeah. uh, this rubber seal was a mere, I think, $9 and having cut a uh, sample piece and test fitted it, which uh, you did not get to see, sadly, poor videography skills. Uh, I will attach it with double-sided tape right underneath there and it will sit, it's, it's, it's very soft and should sit comfortably on the windshield. I'm not sure what I'm going to do down here. Piece is big enough or I could probably just take it right to the edge. This, I will probably leave. I'll probably do it right up to there or something. Whatever I can bond to, I guess. We'll deal with that later. Finished product, you can see. Got a nice edge going up to it. Just a little clamp on there to tighten up the corner. And the other one. Finishes off pretty nicely. From the back, not quite as pretty, but you get the idea. And with a coat of armor on to protect them, and that'll be that. Finished product installed. I think it's looking pretty factory. Occasional blob. Blue, but that couldn't be helped. Right up to. Blend it in.